Okay, we're live. Hello, I'm Evna, and this is my first try when I'm trying to stream, as as you can probably tell. And today we're gonna be playing Fable Free. So, without further ado, let's dive into. We're gonna be bad guys. And that's pretty much it because we <laughs> destroyed the whole, our world. Oh my god. Begins. The kingdom is on the verge of revolution. But who will be the hero to lead the rebellion? First, okay. It it happens. The princess. Who can can be so corrupted, so evil? But the princess. <laughs> of course. The princess. It is time you saw what your kingdom is truly like. And we will see. The age of industry has come to Albion. Though some call it the age of oppression. When freedom is nothing but a dream, it's time to make a stand. To lead a rebellion. To be a hero. Welcome to the city of the downtrodden. Where those who dare to speak out are punished. And those who dare to hope find nothing to hope for. against all odds. True rebels never give up. Yet they cannot triumph alone. The uprising has begun. But who will lead the revolution? Because it won't be me! It will be horrible. As much as we can, this. Day to waste in bed, don't you agree? No. Oh, what? Go away, Jasper. Now that is hardly the response of a princess. I'm afraid it is time to rise. With your permission, I shall wake your sleeping companion. Ah, yes, one's heart soars before such regal bearing. I trust you both slept well. You have a busy day ahead. Come on, boy. If I have to get up, so do you. It's not going to work. Don't look at me like that. Oh, very well. Good dog. What a pair. The kingdom is doomed. 
That's the point. Okay? Now, madam, if you will follow me, perhaps we can find some appropriate clothing for today's activities. Hmm. Master Elliot is most eager to speak to you this morning and is waiting for you in the You can wait. No doubt you will wish to look your best for your young friend. I have taken the liberty of arranging two suitable outfits, if you would care to choose. Hmm. Master Elliot is a charming boy, but perhaps wearing pajamas to meet him will send the wrong message. Notice the fine stitching, the delightful choice of fabric, the... Oh, what's the use? Really? It may not be the I'm so ignorant. Outfit, but that doesn't indicate a lack of quality. I only select the best. Hmm. It becomes the a queen. member of family to wear only the most fashionable mm, yeah. items, if one cares about such things. Let's be fancy. We'll ah, making everyone choice. else miserable. I'm sure Elliot will approve. Perhaps you ought to, to make your way to him now. And I would recommend avoiding your brother today. King Logan is rumored to be in an ill temper. Okay. Have a good day, madam. Will do. Bye, Jasper. Yeah, bye. What's his, what she what says? Walk. Are you barking at already? Where are you? Okay. I was lose him. Am I here? Ah, salutations. At your service, my princess. Oh, oh there you are. Wonderful to see you again, King Logan. Hello, greetings, madam. Greetings, ma. Yes, greetings, father. I'll be a misgrace. I trust disgrace, you Captain. I shan't bother you, your highness. No, actually, no. After Fable 2? Yeah, I think it is. So, we were evil, which not your mother was evil. Oh, was it? Warrior. Are you here to join my army? Good. We shall face all our enemies together, won't we? Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Then the kingdom is safe. <laughs> oh, our fair princess. Your two brave knights will protect you with their lives. <laughs> I can look after myself, you know. Really? I'm afraid I'll need some proof. Perhaps you can give me a demonstration of your abilities? Mm. Yeah, and we're gonna dump you later. Well, just make it harder for you. I know I'm a horrible person. <laughs> How that? That's... <laughs> I'd have to say that's quite satisfactory. I thought you'd never get up. Did Jasper tell you I wanted to speak to you? Yes. Did something happen? I'm not sure, but... Everyone in the castle seems to be upset with your brother, but more than usual. And it's even worse down in the city. You hear such terrible stories. Listen, they say a factory worker was executed this morning. I'm sure it's only a rumor, but you can imagine how people are talking. The staff in the castle are anxious. I told them you'd speak to me. Will you do that? Yeah. I'm afraid of what might happen if someone doesn't calm things down. If you think it will help. It will help. I do. They may fear the king, but they still care for their princess. So, my good princess, may I take your hand and escort you to the castle? Oh, we're gonna be so much worse. Good. Logan. Now let's go. I oh. can't believe your brother could have had a worker executed. But sometimes I think... Well... That there's something wrong with him. He's changed so much. And he looks so tired all the time. I told Sir Walter about the speech. He'll be there to support you. I don't know what this place would be like without him. I'm sure he'll want to carry on with your instruction today. 
He seems obsessed with combat training lately. No wonder. Nothing to report here, my Hello. Princess. Natalie, she can't find a way. Well, That's I poor. heard all he did was can... stand up for one of the kids working in the factory. Who knows where it is? Next thing you know, it's one of us that's... Quit your gossiping now. And straighten those clothes. Hello. Welcome, your majesty. Such an honor to have you here today. The staff are convened to hear your words. Whenever you're ready. I'm always ready. You are all privileged to work in this castle. Serving what she says? your country. You have standards to live up to, and I expect you to always do your best, no matter what the cost. These may be difficult times, but I will not tolerate any unrest or the spreading of wild rumors. Now back to work. Well, that was quite a speech. Thank you. You were very commanding. Your brother would be pleased. But remember, fear is not the only way to inspire loyalty. Oh. Right then, ready for today's training? Take good care of her, Walter. Uh <laughs> Nothing. I've played this game four times yet. I suppose I haven't you've found heard the rumors then. Everything yet. Well, I'm afraid they're quite true. Who knows what your brother will do next? In the meantime, the mood in the castle is getting more uneasy by the day. I can't say I quite agree with what you told the staff, but I must admit, they all listen to you very carefully. The way they would listen to a leader. Well, they have no. We all have no choice. A lot of people to see your brother today. Poor son. There is no other successor. Logan than me. So, Walter, what a stroke of luck. Would you be so kind as to sign my petition? We must fight to eradicate poverty in Albion. Too many suffer on our streets, and the king does nothing. He must be made to care. Oh, very well, but I'm just an old soldier. I doubt my name would mean anything. But, perhaps the princess here would care to help you out. Oh, th that would be wonderful, your majesty. Well, it would be the greatest honor. Sure. We'll try. Let me take a good look at I that. How about this instead? This country. I, I there, there really was no need for that. You're young. You're entitled to your amusement. But you need to realize there are important things at stake. Perhaps you will see that in today's combat training. Come on. You have made good progress these past few weeks. But today isn't about practice. I want you to fight me. As if your life depended on it. One day, the people of Albion are going to need you. I have to find out just how ready you are. All right. I'm just re fight. ready. Wow, nice strike. Do you remember the stories I tell you when you were a child? Of your father, the great hero king. You'd never get tired of hearing those stories. And after each one, do you remember what you would say? Teach me how to be a hero. <laughs> Every single time. I wish that was something an old soldier like me could teach you. Oh. But I've done my best. Now I need you to do your best. Strike me. Come on. Strike, Strike as hard as you can. Am I a great teacher or what? <laughs> but listen, there's something... Walter, you have to come quickly, both of you. What's happened? Outside the castle, it looks like a demonstration. 
This is not good. Really though, who are you to meddle around the The ruling family. I forgot the word. Overworld. They're right inside the castle grounds. I've never seen so many people out there. Balls. I should have known this would happen. I don't think they realize what your brother is capable of. This isn't going to end well. What I am capable of. It's been a long time since Logan listened to me, but I should find him. Stay here. There's still something we need to talk about. I have a horrible feeling about this. We can't just stand here. We need to do something. Go on. Look, the guards can moved try. away from the stairs. We should follow Walter, find out what Logan's going to do. No. Let's go while we can. I refuse. They must be in the <sighs> wall room. Then let's get there before anyone sees us. It's gonna end badly. Really. I mean it. I warned you. Quick! You can see them. Think about what you're doing, Logan. I'm protecting the interests of the people. Do not question me again. You will shoot to kill. Start with the ringleaders, and if necessary, continue with the crowd. This is wrong. You can't do this. Oh! <gasps> Never tell me what I can't do. Walter! We can't let him kill all those people. You're his sister. Maybe he'll listen to you. We have to do something. What are you doing here? Um, sightseeing? No place for a child. Leave now. I'm here to stop you. You can't kill those people. No. But he can. Wait. Enough. How dare you turn against me? Perhaps you believe you should be the one making these decisions. You sure. really wish to defend those traitors. No. Then so be it. Let us see how you do. Take my sister and her friend. To the throne room. We shall settle this matter officially. Move! I'm going. What? Uh. Leave him alone. I'm all right. I'm all right. Don't worry. Whatever happens, we'll get through this together. Keep walking. Here come the saviors of the people. Come closer. Sister, today you have disappointed me beyond measure. I have been betrayed by my own blood and a filthy spy. We did nothing wrong. Punishment must be apportioned where it belongs. Punish me, then. You are no longer a child, and it is time I stopped treating you as one. You wish to save the traitors who had gathered outside the castle this morning very well. You shall have your chance to save them. Here stand the leaders of the violent mob. I will give you a choice. Who will be punished? These strangers or this boy? The sentence will be what? death. No, this can't be. You are the princess. Decide. Your Majesty, Logan, please. I am giving you power over life and death. No, I won't do this. But you will. If you can't choose, I will. You're gonna like they it. They will all be executed. Eventually. So tell me. What are you willing to sacrifice to do the right thing? This is madness. We can't. We just can't. But I can. Choose me. No. You can't let them all die. Choose me. I'm gonna be worse than Reaver. There's only one decision you can make. It has to be me. Please. We didn't mean anything. It's not even a moral decision. Just to be heard. No, it should be me. Don't do this. It should be me. The boy lives. Kill the rest now. Please. No. no. I will never forgive you for this. Good. Then you will never forget it. Escort my sister to her chambers. Now. You mustn't blame yourself, madam. I don't think any of us realized just how far he'd fallen into madness. I have to do something. I can't just stay here. You're not. We leave the castle tonight. 
This kingdom needs nothing less than a revolution. It needs a new leader. It needs a hero. It's time to see if you're ready. Ready for what? To be your father's daughter. Very good. I will pack some essentials. There's no, no time. time. We take nothing. Not even pajamas. Okay, pack Come up on. pajamas. We must leave now. They are I think. I should have done something in the throne room. I should have stopped him. Oh. All you would have accomplished would have been your own death. Oh, Still, right. Maybe I should have taken you away sooner. What about Elliot? I can't leave him here. Don't worry. He's safe. Oh, he won't die. He can take care of himself. There is something rather sinister about this garden at night. Either way, way, this Where are we going? What a shame. I thought we were leaving the castle. We are. But there's something we must do first. Damn it. Casper, please. Don't think me you would hate to do that. Oh! Whoa! Actually, I think this is the first time I've noticed this dress. It requires 50 keys. Yes, it has to be here all the time. By the way, it's getting on my nerves already. Can I turn it off? Yes! Great, wonderful. <laughs> I've seen it for too long. Only it's thought that I already know this game by heart. To Albion's last hero. I never thought you would have been place again. You should have known better. The night your father died, I promised him I would bring you here one day. When you were old enough. And strong enough. This is your history. This is your legacy. The world has been too long without a hero. But I'm hoping that it will have one soon. This is your father's most treasured possession, the Guild Seal. It chooses those who have the power inside them. Those who have the potential to become legends. Take it. Oh, just pause. Is something supposed to happen? Bright. Mm. Who are you? I am Teresa, the seer of the spire. I guided your father in his greatest triumph. But you have an even greater destiny ahead of you. The seal awoke at your touch. As it would at no one else's. This means the fate of Albion rests on your shoulders. Before you lies the path you were born to take. And at its end is the kingdom you were born to rule. Like all heroes, you will face many trials. But you cannot pass through these gates alone. You will need to gather followers and gain the support of the people. For now, Easy. you have the support of two friends. Jasper, who will serve you always. And Sir Walter Beck, who will be your greatest ally. Together you have already taken the first step in your journey. Walk through the gate and claim your reward. Do you think is Teresa dead at this point? Because it's been a long time since the first game. Well, she's in the journey as well. And journey is past rivers. 
A gauntlet will channel the magic within you. Use it by the tomb in the mausoleum. Well, the way out of the castle hmm. will open for you. you think... Return here when you have gathered enough followers to reach the next gate. Isn't there any before Fable Fight? Walter and Jasper will follow wherever you lead. And one day, perhaps hmm. the rest of Albion will do so too. This is those gauntlets. Oh my god, no, it's been so long since I've played any other games that I don't but no. You definitely don't have gauntlets well, in Fable 2. Do you do you feel any different? I don't know. Try casting a spell. That's supposed to be our only way of getting out of here. You might have mentioned that earlier. And spoil the surprise. <laughs> you really are a hero. Thank you. I never doubted it for a second. Well, of course, neither did I. Still, though, <laughs> it bloody worked. Okay, so let's go. Yeah, I think Somewhat narrow, isn't there it? were no Dark, magical too. gauntlets. Right? Spaces, not in Fable 1, not I in Fable 2. It appeared in Fable 3 where we found it, it in. How about if I strike a butler on the bumps? In the what we were given by gods, basically. And somehow. Here is a him in possession of them. But she dies in Fable Journey. Oh my goodness. No. no. I hesitate to ask, but what is our plan? Other than leaving the castle far behind us, which I wholly approve of, obviously. It's simple. We have to stop Logan. How am I supposed to do that? Even if I am a hero, I just one person. Exactly. That is why we need to find allies. And lots of them. Once you prove what you are, people will follow you. And many of them will be willing to fight. But they need oh, to let's kill more Logan's allies than, less than a revolution. we have ours. An idea? Come on! No? Excellent! Okay. Did you see that, Jasper? Did you see it? Well, I know I am. It's hard not to see it. And I'm proud of you too, old friend. I've never seen a man cower with such grace. It is merely a matter of hygiene. Bats are filthy creatures. <laughs> Anyway, I think we've just seen the first proof oh, no. of what you can do. You are the hero who can lead this land in a revolution. Bats are just the beginning. More bats! Get ready to cast some magic. All right. No, it works. Please. It just takes so long to use your spell. Another impressive display. To think uh, that this morning my job consisted of laying out clothes for work. Now Piggy. I'm a midnight snack for bats. You might want to anything? cover your noses from here on. It's the Bowerstone sewers. Very well. Me. Well, you might want to cover your eyes too, Jasper. More bats! Man is flying by. Well, you certainly got the hang of that spell. Shall we can say that? Ugh, what an unusual stench. I dare say we must be somewhere beneath Bowerstone Industrial. Very likely. Not the safest place for us right now. But we should be able to find a way out of the city 
Once we reach the surface. No, not here. I wanna go a bit further. Oh, there's nothing. <sighs> why, why on head? Why were you so lazy when making this game? It appears to be a dead end. Not quite. What is that? I'm pretty sure it's a Cullis gate. Sort of magical transportation system for heroes. I was under the impression the Cullis gates were all gone. Well, it looks like there's one left at least. Your father must have placed this one here in case he ever needed to use it. It's the same symbol that we saw by the tomb. Do you suppose it's activated in the same way? Well, there's only one way to find out. You know what to do. Yeah, sure. I need to turn off those portals as well. Ooh, they're left there and they will die. What is this place? You know, it must be. It is. It's your father's sanctuary. He used to speak of it, but I never thought it was a real place. Well, I don't believe it. Jasper, this book. There's a note with your name on it. Look. That's not possible. For Jasper? Well, I grant you it is possible, but it must be a coincidence. Oh, don't be a dolt. The old king must have left it here for you. What's it called? The Book of Heroes. How extraordinary. Does it tell us how to get out? This really is most remarkable. Everything that we could possibly want to know about heroes and this place is right here in these pages. This map functions as a traveling mechanism. Simply choose where you want to go and, well, it should take you there. Marvelous. Right. We can use that. We'll have plenty of time to explore this place later. Right now, we have a rather large task ahead of us. But I don't even know where to start. Yeah, you're Our right. We'll come back here after Jasper it. cleans it all out. There are up. people there who you're would make great Completely allies. correct. They won't offer their allegiance easily, but they despise Logan. And if anyone can persuade them, it's a hero. Very good. I will continue to become acquainted with this sanctuary. No doubt we will need to make full use of its facilities. Right, all right then. Find Miss Peak on the map and let's see if that book's telling us the truth. Why would it lie? <laughs> now, that looks like the dweller camp in Mist Peak, just there. Select that as your destination and you should be taken there. Just like that. Just like that. Yeah, don't mind the presence, it's from the DLC. It worked! Oh, I'd forgotten how bloody cold it is up here. Come on. The people here call themselves dwellers. They're tough. They're loyal. And like I told you earlier, they hate Logan's guts. Right, um... Game settings? The call. No, no. Or else off. Oh. Yep. It may not look like much, but this is where the revolution begins. This is what Logan has reduced them to. He's taken control of these mountains and started destroying its forests. I knew they'd have a hard food. time finding She's food, really good, honest, but I had no idea it was you. this bad. The man we need to convince is Sabine, a proud old sod, but a good man and a good leader. He won't give his allegiance easily, especially to a princess. Perhaps it's best if I speak to him alone first. You know, yeah. maybe you ought to find some new clothes while I talk to Sabine. Something slightly less regal. We don't need this kind of attention. 
I only have a little bit of gold, but it should be enough. And maybe you can spread what's left among the people. They need no. it more than we do. Where can I find clothes? Oh, don't worry. You'll find someone willing to take that money off you. Now, wish me good luck. Good luck. I'm so hungry. Let's find some clothes. Anyway, ocean here. Oh, it's not ocean. It's an alcohol. We can't hunt thanks to the king. What are we going to do? There are some clothes. This can't go on much longer. Are you here to buy? Oh, good. Hello, madam. This is Jasper. Uh, yes. Hello. Is is this is this how you use? Uh, I am speaking to you through the guild seal. Yes. It would seem that as long as you carry the seal, we can communicate freely. Not only that, but you may return to the sanctuary any time you deem it necessary. Might I suggest you do so now and try on your new outfit? In a second, I have one thing to do before that. As it's closed. Uh, it's not here. Damn it. Whoa, 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 what was that? So we can't sprint. Because the game goes crazy. Included in the sanctuary is a dressing room. Step through and I'll show you. Hmm. Why would a five star dog right on the back? I think we'll I'll go with the white blue Shall or I? the pink poodle. Okay, even for me, white blue is too much. Poodles are just such evil creatures. I've taken the liberty of laying out your but clothes fit, on these mannequins. It fits perfectly. Serve as convenient storage for any garments you acquired during your travels. Now, there you are. You look just like a dweller. I hope this new outfit is as comfortable as your royal attire, though I suspect the chances of that are quite low. Mm. Now that you are properly attired, you should return to Sir Walter. It is Ooh, time to this Sabine that we've heard so much about. Let's use the portion of you. Hello, come here! Uh, train dog. Is that the best dog we can have? Oh, the hook. Look. Uh. I know. I have no idea who would do such thing to the dog. Which fits our current, our future character. I'm finding the fanciest clothes. We're gonna make everyone's lives miserable. That's more like it. Sounds like the scruffy look suits you. I've spoken to Sabine, explained everything, and he's well. I told you he'd take some convincing. Come on. Hello. Ooh. Out of the way, Boulder. I can't see a thing. So royalty walks into our home. A princess, no less. You're a long mile from the castle, princess. What do you think of our home, then? Do you like what your brother has done to us? These mountains have always been ours. Now Logan's taken them and is stripping them of all life. Oh, we're ready to go to war. But why should we follow Logan's kin? You can trust me. You have my word. <laughs> we don't take much stock in words around these parts. We're simple folk. Ain't that right, Boulder? Huh? Then what do you want? Proof. First, prove you are truly, as Walter claims, a hero. This is easily done. There's a secret chamber beneath the town of Brightwall, built by your own father. 
Only heroes can survive its trials and reach the relics within. Bring me one of these ancient objects and I will believe you. Second, prove you are a warrior worthy of leading us into battle. You can do this by slaying the mercenaries who plague Mist Peak Valley and who have long soured our existence. Third, prove you are a true leader. Persuade our neighbors in Brightwall to share what food they have with us. Balder. Oh. If we cannot eat, we will die, and the dead make poor allies. Is that all? Yep, that's the lot. Off you go, then. Good luck. Nice knowing you. Hey, come on, boy. It's nice to see Sabine hasn't mellowed with age. But anyway, I know the place he mentioned. Your father built the chamber under the Brightwall Academy, Albion's greatest seat of learning. Stop the mit. At least it was, until Logan closed it down. Just show the old librarian your guild seal. You'll know what it means. I'll try to find out more about these mercenaries. I'll see you in Brightwall when I have some information. Sounds firm. Where's my dog? Okay. Hmm. It makes a nice change doing something useful. There you are, goddamn it. No, I, I can't even look at you. I'm sorry, I love you, but I can't look at you. Why? What do you have on your bat? Not, not even your tail, but your bat. Hmm. Huh. Yes. Okay. I know we'll be our journey will be full of the holes now. Okay, give me a second. This Be fine. Now, at full village. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. we're going to get away first. <laughs> Though, if I remember correctly, this is where we will gain our home. Our main home, because you can't rent it. I think, yeah, you can't rent it. Where's the Damn it, you are white. Oh, there you are. Yes, I I wasn't looking. You don't. Where would you get keys from? Oh, thanks. What? Oh. 
Thinking. Are we done here? Good. Wasn't the way back home. Yeah, I know. One day, we'll get here. We'll get back here, we will. Have five keys. Hopefully we will have everything. Hmm. I'll try to do as much as I can while doing this pl during this playthrough. I won't be I won't be able to open every demon door, that's for sure, because one requires to have a friend. Stupid requirement. And more importantly, why keep it there uh, that you need a friend when the game and the servers are down? No servers. When the show game's life is down. Okay. Where? Okay, I remember when we get all the other weapons. Right here. Right. Okay. This first stages of the game when all you can do is throw a bunch of fireballs. You fine now? And why isn't it a weapon? Hey, I'm going. Chill. Are you done? Can we go to the bright wall now? Great. Yes, I know it's here. <laughs> but thank you. Everything up. Don't find anything else. Right.
Oh, you have something here. Interesting. Something not under this, but under a bridge somewhere here. Under that bridge, right there. Just don't know whether it was silver chest or regular chest. So that. Well, it's, it's a chest that we can open. Or a key. It was a key. I don't know for this path. Hmm. And you didn't know it was here. You're as blind as I am. Hmm. I wonder if there are any mods to this game. Make it look slightly better. Lately, Toaster was having fun modding I see you're the hell out of Fallout 4. And a perfect opportunity to acquaint yourself with the fine, honest people of this kingdom. Far and I started wondering, hmm, and the my favorite spoke. game, Overlord, of course, it has to have some mods. It, it's not possible that I'm the only person still playing time. this game after so many years. Turns out, I am. <laughs> oh, it is hard to mod this game. Nothing. It's a, it's a shame though. Very. Dress like a king what can I do for you, then? Uh, it is a very nice game. If very different game. I'll be right out of it. A uh, business, I mean. Wait, 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 is it? In this backyard, in the, there's a key. A uh, third. Thank you. How would I manage without you? Really? Really? You can jump through then. Mm. Okay. Will it be your way? I had a problem with Hobbs on my ass. Oh, you have a lot of problems. I have a problem with jumping over that little. Oh, thanks. Yes, I'm gonna steal from the library. Apparently, it doesn't count as stealing. The library is closed by order of the king. We don't serve drinks, we don't sell chicken feed. Please leave before the soldiers suspect you of gaining any real knowledge. Oh. <coughs> Sweet papyrus, a real visitor. I, I'm afraid I was speaking the truth. King Logan has closed the academy. I'm little more than a custodian these days. Have you seen something like this before? By the oh, look. The Guild Seal! I haven't seen it since the old hero King last came here. Uh, then you are... The Princess. Yes. Oh, my! Uh, please, come this way. Your father told me that one day a challenger bearing the seal would come seeking entrance to the reliquary, but I never imagined it would happen in my lifetime. It was he who founded the Academy, of course. I have often wondered how you would react to see it in its present state. I wasn't listening. What if I 
picture correctly and I don't. Let's look for some books. Okay. Here we are. I can't tell you how many of our researchers and professors have studied this door hoping hey. to unlock its mechanism. But I knew there was only one thing that would ever open. Yes, I know, I'm trying, believe me. Yes, I'm here. What you will find on the other side of that door, that knowledge. Follow me. Okay, so let's look for a treasure. Thing. More gold. I think sometimes we can find a book actually. No, uh, those books will be laying just like this one. When you find yourself in a sword fight, just make sure you got the other fellow first. Easy, what? <laughs> Um, I know where it is. You need to find it. Come on, over here. Maybe as well. As long as it works, it's fine. What do we can put? Books on bookshelves. I know it's strange, but. It will be logical to be able. How can we open and we can open it? Nice. Hey. Hey, <laughs> we can use it for. I hate you. Come on. No, we can't. Hate you that. Oh. Unfortunately, our dog doesn't know he would like to get some books and can't help us with that. No matter which way we go. No. This way. Here we have a chest. That doesn't require any keys, luckily. Can we go with a nope? We can't, it's blocked. Never mind. No. Hmm. Go left. Yeah, from me. Ah, hello, Jasper here again. Yes, hello, Jasper. I believe that amazing device is what is known as a flit switch. And you're correct. However, on the subject of amazing things, you will not believe what I have just found in the sanctuary. You should come back as soon as you possibly can. <laughs> this sanctuary contains an armory within which there are some truly remarkable weapons, heroic weapons, which your father left for you. This way, please. Hey, okay, give me a second. And we're gonna open this all now. And then we will change our 
appearance. Why not? The armory lies through that door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Apparently, as you use it, the blade actually becomes longer and sharper. Imagine. I think we were here. According to the book, I don't remember which weapon we were using earlier with use. in the last run. It was hammer, but I'm not sure. Now, admittedly, these weapons don't appear particularly yeah, impressive. Big yet. sword? That sword is certain to cut a sway through your foes, and depending on whom you kill and how, it will grow ever more powerful. Well, now that you have a proper weapon, you should return to the chambers underneath Brightwall Academy. Yes. First things first, I want to change my clothes. Why not? Wait. Um, press head, hair, head. Because it looks better. Yeah. Oh, we're fine. Ah, yes, the flit switch. Now, the way you activate these... Just hit it. Your new weapon should serve like everything. You don't need to kill a lot of enemies with everything so Run here. So if you would like to stand, if you care to stand back, okay. Appreciate. He's not dead yet. Oh, he's dead. Where do you dig? You were able to find a dig spot so far away. Never mind. I never really found out how the hell it works. Let's open. The second one. Don't we need to get someone for the door? Yeah, it's too close. Go back up and we can mm, progress just a little bit with the main hurry. Just a bit.
not like I haven't enjoyed. No, no. Maybe we should play it on hard. I know, yes, I know, doggy. Way. Wanna kill Evan. Yeah, the name of this achievement isn't very helpful while well, fighting skeletons. Thanks, Doggy. Really. You're really helpful. Oh no. And get those guys. We can we can climb over here. Here. Nope. Never mind then. In here because why would these there? In. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Where's our dog? Okay, come here. Think too deep? No. Fine. If you're not gonna help me, I'll manage myself. I still need to get the firearm. I never remember this learning section to be so long. That's, that's it, it's all so. Not all, it's sort of a tutorial. Why would you hide your weapon? You know, there are graves in here. something on this wall. Wait, we are supposed to go over there, so naturally we won't. There has to be something over here then. Okay, I was about to say that there's nothing up after all. But thank you, doggy. We might be able to buy something, some houses in Dwarf's Camp already. So, this is how it ends. I steal the blueprints for the dungeon from the architect who built it. Find the secret entrance on the other side of Miss Peak. Almost get killed by several hollow men. Stub my toe against a rock so that it really hurts when I walk. And now this. I know there's a great treasure in here somewhere. And I know it has something to do with these braziers. I just don't know what. But I'm not leaving until I solve this riddle. Can we solve it? 
Okay, so we actually just had to lead them all. Oh. So. Oh. Wait, there's a chest. There's a chest. Oh. Well, just. This, this is just a little detour. We'll go back and get back on track. Second. No idea where we're going. Bad. Uh. Oh, but we couldn't get the silver key, so yeah. Okay. No wonder you died. Actually, this is this is the. <laughs> The level of puzzles that some games are giving you right now. Just, we're gonna tell you there's something wink to do with that. You know, you're gonna try the first obvious thing, and this is gonna be an answer. Yay! Yes, I'm waiting for you. Where is it? No, no, don't you dare. someone else. Yes, I know, Doggy, there's a treasure around here. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. No, Jasper. Ah, hello. Yes, you'll recall that I mentioned yeah. that flit switches require a knock from a melee weapon. Well, it seems that was partially correct. According to the book. Only blue switches require melee weapon. The red variety requires magic, and to activate yellow switches, you must shoot them with a firearm. Fortunately, that section of the book also indicated where some firearms were located, and these weapons, well, they must be seen to be believed. Oh, show them. Ah, so the weapons in question were also left for you by your father. They are in the armory. Okay. Like the sword and hammer, these astonishing weapons evolve over time there as you are. use them, becoming ever more fearsome. They can cause more damage and achieve other incredible effects. I really don't know which one. I think the it was... pistol is best suited to short ranges and pack... The pistol! Excellent choice! I think you it was rifle and hammer. Moment, after all. I'll keep the rifle here in case you change your mind. In the meantime, experiment and see what incredible properties are waiting to be unlocked. At the mid. Ah, hello. Is the firearm? No. Oh, it's not a pistol.
I never block. <laughs> probably notice that and I rarely do that it, mainly because it doesn't really work I usually use the enemies to kill enemies It's point blank. Never mind. Around here? Yeah, the spot. Come on. Come on, get over here. You can do this. Long to load. Really? I hit only one. Well, two. Oh, die already. Using multiple weapons in a single fight grants you more seals or not. Give me a second. Doggy, get over here. I can see. Man, man, over here. Here. See, make him. Thank you. I use every bit of gold right now. Oh, yeah, but, but I guess I'm selling all those precious stones. Congratulations, hero. Touching the guild seal was an indication of what you could become. Reaching the music box has proven what you already are. No one but a hero could have done it. You have begun to learn what powers you possess, and there is still greater potential within you. But you have only taken the first step in your journey. Albion is crying out for a revolution, and for someone to lead it, winning supporters to your cause will be hard. Leading them against Logan will be an even greater challenge, but it's one you must accomplish. I'll make him pay for what he did. This is not a matter of personal vengeance. It is. As long as your brother sits on the throne, Albion is in great danger. Open the music box. It will show you the truth. I am the real danger.
This is my Albion. Its cities will bow to my law, or they will burn. Its mountains will bend to my will, or they will fall. This is my Albion. Its people will do as I say, or they will die. Its future will be as I decree, or it will end. I've seen what must be done, and nothing will stand in my way. We will be greater, and we will be stronger, no matter what sacrifices we must make. This is my Albion, and I will see it destroyed before I surrender it. Right. If you still doubted the necessity of a revolution, you have your answer. The kingdom will face its own annihilation under your brother's rule. Now, do whatever you must to gain your first ally, for you cannot lead a rebellion without followers. Sabine is a good man, and his people are strong. Yes, this is the work rule. We need to unlock basically everything on the right side. Uh, well, not caring so much about things. Hello. We have landlord. Yep. Box. Magic. We can get all the abris here. Three and Yep. Now our sword is shiny, now our pistol will be shiny, and at the end we will we'll be just shiny over all of it. Where the pistol starts? I really need to find some better clothes for you. Let's get those things out of the way as well. If we are lucky enough, we can be able to get every single upgrade. Which I was never able to do because I was too lazy. Just like that. to buy a house. Houses are excellent investments. Besides, you'll need somewhere to live if you meet that special someone. <laughs> Blessed index cards. You made it. Of course. This is cause for great rejoicing. Albion has a hero again. Not so much for if a hero. I can be of assistance, I will be honored to serve you. I know. I knew you would succeed, Adam. You now have proof positive of your heroic status. And I believe Walter has made some progress with the mercenary problem. He is waiting for you outside the local tavern. Oh, my dear soul, you're an odd fish and no mistake. Possibly a trout or maybe even weirder, like a sea cucumber or something. Though technically they aren't fish. Anyway, you look like some kind of mutant fish thing. So there, you're sincerely Arthur. I love their letters. And I really like personal respondency. Hey, it's an it's an English word. You know where it is. We'll yeah. be going bankrupt if things don't pick up, and so will the rest of this area. If three keys so far, that book is probably a bug. 
and nope. Who was a reliable way to gather a few folks no. is by simply interacting with you. Alright, I sure you'll make an impression. I think I know I remember something. The tavern will be closer. I need to move. The more you spend, the better goods I can afford to stock. Yeah. Don't like that because soon enough, all, all right, those all your buildings will belong to me. I hope to see you again soon. If nope. doesn't pick oh, up soon, I'll be so right it's out of over it. there. A business, I mean. Do you have anything so. I can buy off you? Yeah. Bit of a sh Thank you for your custom. I just I hope I can make a profit on that. Come back Coming if you have out. anything else. I'll to leave say. the wedding ring. Always happy to buy your unwanted items. Do that. That's a fine item. I know. All my items are fine. Hello, Walter. You were successful then, bloody. Yes. You'd be glad to know I have some information on the mercenaries Sabine mentioned. They're led by a man called Saker. He used to be a soldier, but always had more in common with bandits and cutthroats than the military. His men are holed up in a small fortress in the mountains, so. It won't be easy to get in, but I have a plan. Of course you do. Come with me. One of the mercenaries. A cold-blooded killer. His name's Clarence, but everybody calls him Jimmy. He was drinking in the pub all day and generally making life unpleasant for everyone. It wasn't hard to get him completely pickled. These young thugs. Bloody lightweights if you ask me. Anyway, take his clothes and you'll have a free pass into their camp. Just try not to think about what those stains might be. You had to mention those stains, right? Fine. Hmm. You're not likely to convince anyone without a bit of extra effort. Even these idiots will notice if you don't have his beard or tattoos. I'm sure you can get hold of what you need around town, though. In the meantime, I'll find out who to talk to about getting food to the dwellers. They might not have much to spare here, but they're kind people. They'll just need a little convincing. Anyway, good luck dealing with Saker and his mercenaries. It'll be your first taste of real battle. But I know you'll do just fine. Sure. You appear to have earned enough gold to purchase the rather repulsive item that will require to complete your mercenary disguise. A most impressive feat for a member of the royal family. Damn it. Marcus Ivy oh. was the fourth ruler to be named Marcus. However, he believed this fact diminished his importance, so he insisted that the letters after his name were merely an oddly spelled surname. No member of his court ever took issue with this, partly out of fear of reprisal and partly because, well, how could you have that conversation and not have it be unbelievably awkward? Of course, should you have acquired a taste for labor, you may continue no. working for as long as you wish. Need beard. Mm. Best shop in Brighton. You'd be mad to go anywhere else. We'll be going bankrupt if things don't pick up. And so will the oh, rest I think of this it's area. Over there. Oh, weird for sure. What the fuck? What? Oh, there you are. Thank you. Yeah, we can surely get the beard over here. The power has to be... Oh, you have tattoos as well. Need some help there? You're paying top gold for yeah, a yeah, top yeah, yeah. quality item. Yeah, it may be expensive, but it's worth every ounce of gold. 
It appears you have all the required ingredients for your distasteful mercenary disguise. Oh, was fast. You may return to the sanctuary to change into it when you wish. Yeah, but we need to dig up some things first. Just in case we need them later. Let's adjourn to the dressing room and see about your disguise, shall we? We shall. The appropriate facial hair adorns the bust before you. Ah, well, that's not the most traditional look for a lady. However, it... The beard and the tattoo are splendid. You're just missing one thing. The mercenary outfit. Oh, my order suits. Ah, yes, very mercenary indeed. You'll fit right in with those brutes. Now then, you better be off to deal with Seika, haven't you? Mm, sure. Am I her fine? Damn it. Well, you know, I think I remember how to get to their camp. So, there's that. Be fine. Bit of a if I don't get on some stuck of the local on shops, people. Don't waste food ever again with our amazing pasta. Okay, chill. I won't waste any food. Hope you're here to buy. No. Just no. Go and find the mercenaries. I'm thinking about. God damn it! You didn't have done that earlier. Where are you? You could have done that earlier. Now... Yeah, let's just print. I just wish this game had normal map and those little coins would give you basically nothing. There, but yeah, we should go that way into the forest. This is how you can tell we haven't been here yet. What are you crawling at? There's nothing yet. And our mercenaries are just the other side of the lake. A tumble. Right? That way? Oh, it doesn't mean up there. No, we will just hit the wall. God damn it. Let's go to Seika. We'll be... I think. Yeah, we'll deal with mercenaries and then... We'll take a break for today. Things to attend to them. This will be a good, <laughs> good time to end the f our first ever stream.
these Pokemon the ones they... You know. Where is it? There is a chest around one of these piles of logs. I guess if it's not here... Oh, not chest, but a key. Yeah, yeah, I know. Fifth key. So we can... What was the fifth? Oh, it was... Again? Uh, it was in the dweller. Um, was, no, it was near the dweller's camp in the mist pit, but on the top of the mountain. It's easier to get there from dweller's camp, is what I'm trying to say. And trying to get there from here. Okay. Game? Come on. Get over here then. game wouldn't constantly remind me what I'm supposed to do. Yes, I know I'm on the right track. I know. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Jimmy. Back from killing some dwellers. Sure. Come on in. This shouldn't take too long. Well, basically, what we have to do is get to the others to the end camp. Nah, me neither. I sometimes wish I'd join me dad with a family oh, business. Why didn't you? Well, I never saw myself oh, as a no chest. And it wasn't really feasible after I killed him and all. Uh, Hi, guys. Jimmy, I got myself a dog. I think this digging is scripted. This one here to distract you from the chest. Yeah, yeah, give me a second. Yes! Jimmy, show stilts here that thing you do, you know, the thing. What thing? I don't know. Thing over there. So only not naturally. I'm going to get your fur. Hey, really? I can't handle. What the hell? His room was with the four on his back. This is throwing me off so much. <laughs> Hey guys. After that fella what stiffed us on last job. Doesn't Wolf feel like he's killed? All right, Jim, how's things? You've been drinking in Brightwall again? Yep. But don't let anybody tell you, drinking alone is wrong. That's some of the best times I've had. Anyway, in you go then, mate. Thanks. We need to calm down a bit, doggy. Really? He's so angry all the time. Oh, 
Really, none of those graves is fit for digging. Yes, I know what I said. And apparently, there is one. Where? This one over here? Okay. Take her portrait. Okay. I'm not going in reading all the ways. Wow, I got a good Please open up, I see you have a book. No, it's a brush. Never mind. Jimmy? That really you? You look different somehow. Were your eyes always that colour? Nah, Jimmy's got periwinkle eyes like a beautiful summer morning sky. That's not him! Not Jimmy! Get off him, you! If anyone tells you that this game is a true problem, I'd rather dog can kill. Just... The dog, the poodle will throw someone's throat out. The throat rip. <laughs> Good job, I guess. Um, really not good with sword, are you? Well, then that's your first time, I guess. Oh, nope. There's chest up here, I think. Yep. more choices in this game weren't so obvious it's no fun doing something wrong if you know it's wrong hey come on move your paws a little faster please Thank you, uh... Jimmy was my you? mate! Die! This is gonna be an oh, I won't. It doesn't always. Oh, now you hit that. It doesn't always react when I to hit them with the sword. Maybe I should start up controller. Hello! Who are you? <laughs> oh, the library? Oh, hello! Really cool. I have to do as well. Win. 
I can take care of those bandits. Oh, that's a key. What? Oh, we have a digging spot. Okay, where is it? What? What was that explosion? That? I know what it was. It was him. To try and kill the main person at really. I hope you best of luck. What? trail of bodies. You're not one of Sabine's dwellers, that's for damn sure, but you'll die like one. Oh, you don't know yet, idiot, do you? Right in the fire, of course. Okay. It's a shame that you will catch on fire. It's not that yet? I can't think of. Yeah. Well, please feel trying. No one's gonna get that take that away from you. so kind and I thank you Stop. 
stop. You've won. This battle is yours. Kill me or let me live. It's your choice. And my men will honor it. We may be nothing but mercenaries, but we have our codes, like any other soldiers. We'll leave the dwellers be, no matter what you do. That is a warrior's promise. Oh, you didn't read the title, did you? Of course I'm gonna kill you. You have sword for that. Thank you. There's a warrior, warrior's code for you. I don't need no one. No allies. Well, we still have Jasper in the end. You have taken another step on the road to rule. Defeating Saker has won over many of the people he terrorized. Word is already spreading of your victory. Thank you. Press with me as own spell. of anything. Oh, I'll leave it here. That's the way it is. It is a momentous occasion. Your first victory in battle. I'm no expert on personal combat, but I would say, based on the fact that you're not dead, you acquitted yourself rather well. It's hard to believe that just a few days ago I was rousing you from a comfortable bed. It would seem that you have completed two of the tasks that Sabine set for you. If you return to Brightwall, you will find Sir Walter has some news on how to fulfill the last requirement. Oh, the food. I hate it. <laughs> Sir Walter is still uh, waiting for you in the Brightwall I know, Tavern. thank it you. Become rather... Thank you, Jasper, yeah, I know. The hope cave. Let me buy your unwanted so that items. is, Fair if we go made. there. I sell the finest items in Brighton. Oh, you do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Is that normal? Ah, uh, yes, the special ingredients of our famous... Oh, we found something, great. You need a child. You need my child. That's not gonna happen. Sometime. Oh, there we go. thank you, doggy. One is our greatest warrior. Oh, weapon. Greatest weapon. Whether it's a king or queen. Most of those. Where's Walter? Get drunk with my wonderful alcohol. I thought he would be some yeah. Best goods in Brightwall. Let me for thank you. Um Got too much gear? Sell it to me. Walter? Oh, he's in the library. Right. No good. Very bad. This is such a bookworm. Was no, there was a key, not the 
So I just get them. For some reason, I'm trying to remember every little thing about this game, about the secret, its secrets, about chests, keys. No, we're gonna enjoy it. Both are good, damn it. Let's see. Need sword in bright wall. Yay. Let's zoom in. He should be visible. Um, okay. I am wearing glasses. Don't get me wrong. I am wearing, wearing my glasses. I'm just blind. He could be like, hey, princess, it's you, I'm here, you don't have to look for me. Like, without this. Yeah. Where the hell is he? Maybe, uh, oh, the upper floor? Walter. If you don't buy my goods, okay. the rings will eat your children. No, really, I've seen it happen. Walter? Ah, there you are. Ah, yes, she is. We were just talking about you. Indeed. We have made a toast to your stupendous feat in ridding Miss Peak of Saker and his men. They have been a source of great distress for some time. Nobody will be more pleased than Sabine. His dwellers might find some peace now. Of course. Nobody has suffered more than they. I've been telling Samuel here about the terrible situation they're in. He thinks he may be able to help. Uh, yes, well, uh, perhaps. I, I mean, of course. The thing is, as I was just explaining to Sir Walter, Brightwall has no overabundance of resources itself. The King's levies are rather steep and we face shortages more often than is comfortable. But? But, were you to improve things around Brightwall, the people would be most grateful. And when people are grateful, they're also charitable. I'm sure they would find it in their hearts to send aid to those poor people. There you have it. The way I see it. You will need all the followers you can get if you're going to lead a successful rebellion. What better time to start? I heartily agree with Sir Walter. Pardon me for hearing. As it happens, I've learned of a promising method for amassing followers. If you'll return to the sanctuary at your earliest convenience, I can show you what I mean. Okay, yes, I will right now because we again got swarmed by ah, gifts now, from the game. The book says there is an yep. additional rather amazing capability about the sanctuary's map table. It can help you find people who are in need of a hero. Why? Oh, we get side of one sword everything else mallets <laughs> okay pistol please thank you hunter's lodge deed so we can when find our house you a gift i will keep it for you here thank you until you wish to unwrap it i shan't peek i promise of course you won't This is better than ours already. Or oh, this is 20. Well, the, this is worthless. Five. A. Let's say the Inquisitor then. Uh, but, oh, but. And 3000 of personal gold. Uh, the Iron Guild seals from evil expressions. <laughs> You 150 villagers or soldiers. That's perfect weapon. <laughs> uh, we have equipped 26. Kill 200 enemies with unweaved troll spec. Spec spell. 
Okay, you make eight, five little of you. Win twelve. Hmm. Personal gold. Twelve hundred, I mean. Twelve thousand. So let's pick up Oxbow instead then. Since we have to use it anyway. We finally have some clothes suitable for the future. Not really. Yep, some more hard bells. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Dress. Oh. We are evil. We're. We're not trans. An excellent way to gain followers is by Five. helping yes, villagers in I know. need. Take oh. a closer look at Brightwall and I will explain more. Okay. Sure. You can now see the villagers in need. You can also see how many followers you must amass to impress Samuel and the people of Brightwall. Select a villager to help. By doing so, you will gain the respect and loyalty of others in the region. Oh, I want this one. I love this one. By completing quests for those in need, you will prove your abilities and demonstrate your potential as a leader. I go back? Thank you. I know where this quest hmm. is. No use trying to pretend you're not ugly. What? Who said that? You know, for a town with a famous academy, I haven't exactly noticed an abundance of brainy people. Remember that I have to kill 150 people, so I don't want to be... Actually, correct. That expression, don't. Don't bur Don't throw up, please. Congratulations! Getting out among the people has paid off! Remember that interacting with the citizens of Albion is generally a reliable way to gain followers. Sure. Especially like this. <laughs> is this a bad expression? Or is it just a disgusting one? What's the difference in... in the first game? In the second it was both. Disgusting and evil. I'd rather kill those people somewhere where there's no soldiers or guards. Oh, there will be that one quest where we have to unlock the uh, shrine, not shrine, the whole cult. People who worship evil entity, and they're super peculiar. Oh well, yeah, I think this is this that will be it. When we when we will kill 150 people. I'm trying to make it that so that I can do most of the things well at once. I don't know about you, but I'm done with both, with interactions with people. Hello, guys. You, dear lady, you who live in such a tumultuous epoch, do you not thirst for the drama and emotion of a properly structured tragic play? Of Look at my face. You don't. You want to I'm already evil. Propose. You want to be made merry. You want to be amused. It is no good. We shall never agree. Ah. If only we could get our hands on Morley's lost play, it would solve all our problems. Yes, it is said to bring together the opposites of tragedy and comedy in an exquisite marriage of forms. But perhaps you can find it. Yes, we beg you, the theatre, the muses, the very heart and soul of this town will thank you. Oh. Splendid, splendid. 
You should know we did commission an elderly detective to search the library for clues as to the place whereabouts, but he never returned. The man's name is Ransom Locke, and he's rather closer to senility than one would like, truth be told. If you come across this gentleman, he may be able to aid you. I believe he is looking for the collected works of the playwright Philip Thmorley, as we speak. One can only hope they were not burned when the king closed down the academy and its library. Oh, well. Luckily, they are not burned down, they just closed, so... You know. There's nothing to think about. I think it was over here. God damn it. When the door starts closing... Turn back now, mortal. That's how we know we're going in the right direction. Stay away from this no. Curse Only place. death and insanity await you. Please, insanity is my second name. Don't pick it up. Pick it up. Don't. <laughs> really, I'm serious. Hello. You just can't leave well enough alone, can you? Bloody literary tourists, bane of my afterlife. Listen, you. You're not getting my lost plate, you hear? It's rubbish. Worse than rubbish. I mean, what was I thinking mixing tragedy and comedy? I must have been off my rocker. It would seem, my dear madam, you have been apprehended by the ghost of Philip Morley. That makes us both his captives. I am Ransom Locke. If the name seems familiar, it is because I was once a detective of some renown. And yet, here I am, ready to live out the rest of my days, trapped in a book. As far as I can deduce, we are currently in a scene from one of Morley's greatest romantic plays, the near tragedy of Oliver and Ethel. I believe if we are to escape, we must act out the scene. But performing is not one of my talents. If I am correct, putting on this costume should set things in motion. <laughs> of course. My life, my son, if thou wouldst but give me one sign, one gesture that would speak of your affections, then might I think this grey existence worth living. Ah, uh, yes, a classic moment in the play. Of course, you yeah, yeah. Are Ethel, the beautiful young daughter of a dung merchant. Show Oliver that you love him, and we may be able to leave this scene. <sighs> Just how much I would love. Make every opposite. If you want to get out, we have to make the right, right, my right yours, choices. Let the heavens and the seas, the toads and the eels sing the song in my heart, for she doth love me, and all is well. We shall meet again in the morrow, my little ferret, and elope into the sunset to live out our days in wondrous joy. A magnificent rendition. Truly, I applaud you. Hmm. I see you are gifted with remarkable literary cunning, but can you really comprehend the depths of my work? That we shall see. Ah, yes. This is undoubtedly a scene from one of Morley's earlier, funnier plays, Bloodbath at the Royal Court. And oh, this what? must be your costume. The role of the fool is one filled with tragic death, 
it will require a masterful performance. What fresh insolence is this? Out of my throne, you impertinent buffoon! Stand before your king, and do your jester's duty. Tis a troublesome time for this court, and my crown grows heavy. So make me laugh, or I shall have your head. Let's tickle him. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. I don't think... I'm fairly sure it doesn't affect our... Whether we are evil or good. <laughs> oh, stop! It's too funny! I believe I'm in the right mood now to meet with those foreign delegates. I think I shall only behead half of them. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I have never seen a more convincing fool. There is hope for us yet. If you think so. You handle my royal dramas as well as you handle my romances. But will your versatility extend to the more subtle domains of theatre? I wonder. Oh, Just you dear. wait. Unless I'm mistaken, this is a scene from Morley's notoriously violent historical epic, Titus the Mutilator, Part Two, which would mean this is the gladiatorial arena from Act Five, where Titus is finally slaughtered by savage warriors seeking revenge. A favorite scene of mine as a child, I must admit. And here is Titus's famous costume. I had some pajamas that looked just like it. Put it on and you will take on the greatest role of your life. Really? Titus, thy pox-membered body shall pay for thy monstrous villainy. My son lies dead because of you. Now shall revenge be mine. Cold is your corpse and all the more flavorsome for it. Do try to make your demise convincing. Where are you guys? Let's see if I uh, if I get in, get some. I can get some experience out of you, so we are using it. Can't really do anything about. Oh, there's. Just trying to get some experience of off of you. Once you stop giving me some, I will stop killing you. How about that? Denied my world undone. I cannot stand to live one second more. A tremendous performance. That's just the ending I wanted to see when I was a young boy attending the theatre every weekend. My pleasure. I wonder what scene will follow now. Oh, what scene could possibly follow such a wonderful rendition of my work? way you improvise some of those roles, you brought new life to my words. I stand in awe. What? 
You have earned the prize no mortal has ever been honored with before. My missing plan. I entrust it to you, for I know that you will do it justice. I call it the Ham Sandwich. A metaphorical title, of course. Mm, thank you. And thank you for follow. Oh, you have retrieved our aged investigator. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Happy day. Have you perchance found? This is no time for perchances, Lambert. The play. Do you have it? Of course I have it. We're saved, Lambert. Oh, the joy in my bosom knows no bounds. Thank you a million times. Thank you. <laughs> His head bosom is already working. Comedy and tragedy will at last join hands. Eh, this is a bad idea. This is a horrible idea. We'll watch it. Mark. Bear witness to the tragic futility that is man. Oh, how it doth sear my senses to see paradise and yet to be barred. That reminds me of a great joke. A guard, a monk, and a chicken walk into a bar. Unfortunately, the bartender had had a mild heart attack that morning, so none of them get served. And yet what purpose doth heartache serve when the infinite dark blanket that is death falls softly upon our still beating corpse? That reminds me of another one. A corpse walks into a bar and says, Can I have a lemonade? Certainly, replies the bartender. I've never seen a stiff drink. And so endeth our happy sad play, which reminds us we are made of nothing but clay. There's time only for our fool to say... Great big giant bosoms! What the hell was that? Biggest load of old tosh I ever saw. It sounds it like sense. something Toaster would say. Ever. <laughs> Thank you. So I need three more. Did you hear there looking So what shall you do now, Mr. Lock? Any more oh, mysteries? Sorry. Okay, no? never mind. I'm not going to intervene in what they are gonna do. I don't care. No. Oh uh, god damn it. This isn't where I wanted to be. No, we need those seals. Unfortunately, we need them for Sabine. We are not. We won't spend anything. Although it, I would love to upgrade weapons. No. I'm evil, but I'm not a masochist. Uh, I, there is that one guy. Is he down? Oh, yeah, he's down there. Oh, oh hello. Mm, lovely, aren't they? I've collected gnomes since I was a lad. My family said it was unhealthy. It made me take stock of my life, and I realized I had to make a change. So, I cut off all contact with them. <laughs> now it's just me and the gnomes. They're my best friends, especially Jonathan. He's like a brother. I, I would actually die for him. It's his birthday today. Good for you. I ordered a special present for him and everything, but it, it, it never got here, unfortunately. Well, you, you couldn't find out what happened to it for me, could you? Sure. Great, great! Now, this package, like I said, it's very special. I ordered it from a catalogue. It was very expensive, but then, this is Jonathan we're talking about. He deserves only the best. Now, according to the catalogue, the delivery coach travels through Misspeak Valley. Maybe they lost a wheel there or something. It, it's a good place to start looking around, anyway. Hey. <sighs> Yeah, I know where it is. I think I know where it is. I kind of know where it is. The question is whether it will be quicker to go from the lower scan. You need more followers. Try I know. Just, just do this. Oh. <sighs> 
some of your house is still stored with my it should also be where you yeah, have your best furnishings. Now, have you given any thought to redecorating? Not really. I never had the. Did she just die? We don't need much, just enough to survive. Everything goes according to plan. Fortunately, I don't think that death from starvation counts. That was in us killing. With those guys. Where is it? Sabine, better sort this out, or oh. we'll all be gone as soon. Oh, doesn't know. Sabine's history of the Dweller tribe has dictated to Boulder, Secretary, Bodyguard, and Comrade. Very well. Boulder, I want you to write down everything I say. Now, these fellows at the Bright Wall Academy have asked for a full and proper history of our tribe to sit proudly on their learned shelves. This is important, you know, so <clears throat> write down every word as true as it's spoken. <clears throat> Honored scholars and professors and such, I am Sabine, elder dweller of... Well, I'll start again, Boulder, hang on. Honored scholars and professors and such, I am Sabine, elder of the dweller clan. I shall begin the tale of my people with... Um, it, wait, bold, wait, Boulder, wait, wait, let me light my pipe. I haven't eaten for days. Boulder, have you got everything so far, Boulder? Good. Now, where was I? Aye. The history of our tribe is the history of these mountains. For we were wanderers for many a year before we found a home. And we were not truly ourselves before the Valley of Mist Peak sang its welcome song. These ancient rocks, these noble trees, this honest soil, are as much a part of the Dweller tribe as the children who play in the valley's snow, or the men and women who hunt in its forests. <coughs> got a, have you got enough ink in there, my lad? Huh? Have you got enough ink there, my lad? There must be facts sufficient to fill a book by now. Yeah. I best hurry to the end. So, in conclusion, it's freezing, and it's tough, and it's beautiful. And what better way to describe the life of a dweller than that? These mountains are ours, and we'll fight with our lives to shelter them from whatever storms may come. But the most important thing about dwellers, you must know, the thing that defines our culture and our spirit more clearly than anything else is... Oh, bloody hell. My pipe's gone out. Oh, well, never mind. That's plenty for the academy to absorb and to study, I've no doubt. Let's have a drink to celebrate, shall we? Just make sure you've not missed a word, Boulder, and we can send it off in the morning. So long that even our dog gave up. Okay, and uh, you know, I've unfortunately, uh, I brought, I never, I was never able to get this game to work online. Ever since I got it, it was so annoying to set it to. No, it just never worked. <laughs> So ever since I think when was it? 2016? Something like this? I don't I don't quite remember this game, game came out, but year after the game came out, 
I got it. And ever since that time, each time I tried to connect, it wouldn't connect it to internet, it wouldn't work. I could only play it offline and then the game for Windows like or something like this. It was close, it was changed to something else, then I had to reinstall the whole game because it stopped working. I feel so weak. <laughs> and it still wouldn't work properly. So I just have this one version of the game installed on my computer since the beginning. That only works offline. And I'm not touching anything. I'm not changing anything. <laughs> and hoping it will keep working. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's speak. God damn it, dog. Thank you. This game is it, not the game itself, but the program it used to work it was so buggy for me. That's a chest somewhere here. And it was for five keys. And there are wolves, okay. Where do we wanna go? Really? Up here somewhere. For car. Are you okay? Okay, um, we are looking for a carriage with a. No? The goblin. The goblin had got them. With the goblin that we were killing in the second game. Oh, I remember them. First time I played Fable 2, I played it alone and I maxed it. I literally done everything I could in that game in three days. I was sick, I was waiting for the, for the dentist. Oh. I was, yeah, was close to losing my mind, but... I sat through, I think, oh, 34 hours? Get everything done. Okay, there's the way to Mist Peak. There's the way to our. Lodge right of the mercenary camp. Nothing but that worthless, 
Duke of Stone. Oh, hell. We get nothing for this job except our. How are you? Really? Why don't you dare touching my dog? I know it's ugly, I know it's hideous. But don't, don't, don't you dare. My bad. Oh, so. The stone ornament has a faintly sinister aura about it. Or maybe they're just a thin you know, mask. No, it's basically possessed, so... There's that. Let's go back to Brian. Uh, give him the gargoyle. And everything will go to hell. This is open. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to go look for you, looking for your child. At least not yet. Don't get me wrong. Oh, you guys are ready. You guys are ready? Oh. Esteemed citizens of Brightwall. Today, we demonstrate hey. the generous nature of our fair town. For Chicken. too long, have our mountain neighbors suffered in silence. And now, we extend a helping hand. But this effort would not have been possible without the courage and determination of one woman, the daughter of the old hero king. From this day, we shall know you as the hero of Bright War. Before you leave, we ask of you one favor. As we pledge ourselves to you, so we hope you will pledge to return Brightwall to its former glory and reopen the academy which your father founded. Whatever. <laughs> I will. No, you won't. Very, very good. Very good. I expect nothing less from you. These volunteers shall carry the supplies to the Dweller Camp. They may have them with our blessing. I hope you will return one day. Not just as our hero, but as our queen. Not everyone at once, please. Best establishment in Brightwall. Move. At last, safest bond. Now it's the cargoyle. Brian and we'll start the worst thing possible. Well, actually, no, it won't start just yet. Good. No, okay, it won't ju start just yet. We'll need one more thing, but... Uh... Oh, Jonathan is going to be so exciting! You got it! Oh, this is brilliant! This is going to end bad. I know it's going to end badly. Right, let me see. Now then, here are the instructions. Prepare your display area in pride of place. Mm -hmm. Done that. Ensure that your garden ornaments are facing your gargoyle with unbroken line of sight. Mm -hmm. Check. Face your gargoyle, stand confident, take a deep breath, and say in an authoritative voice... Oh, 
<clears throat> Gargolus Multipulus Us. Look both ways before crossing a road. Don't eat wild mushrooms, they could be toadstools. Yes, right. You should never move an injured person. Never leave home without a hat. Oh, this is the greatest day of my life. Wait until I tell my family. Oh, I forgot I've stopped talking to them. Oh, who cares about them? This is mind-bogglingly amazing! <laughs> In the morning when I wake up and I stumble out of bed I put my pointy hat, hat on my little pointy hat. hat And it doesn't much matter if the sky is rain or shine Because I know it's a happy fellow all the time they said they know me okay, no, 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 no. almost all the time. I'm not going to listen. <laughs> We're not going to listen to that. <laughs> what? I could try installing this game on a different computer. I really don't want to meddle with this... With this version that I know it works. But only offline. Obviously. Upon that wall, you'll find the um, contracts representing the promises... You have done a wonderful thing for those poor people in the mountains. Mm. They will be overjoyed when you arrive with the a What was that? Our hero returns, bringing good tidings <laughs> and supper. <laughs> You're so ugly. Damn thing doesn't open. How do you open? Oh well, I never thought you'd actually get it. Tell you the truth, Boulder. We've been blessed, my friend. We have made an alliance that has already brought us life. One day, it will bring us much more. We require but one more offering before we fight at your side. Yeah, Boulder. Promise to restore these mountains to their full glory and to protect our right to dwell in them and promise you will bring nothing but the fiercest justice upon Logan's head. I promise. Then may we be carried into the castle by the dark storms of fury. We'll have to wait a little longer for that. It's still just us against the whole army. We need to recruit more people. Mm, I was afraid we'd come over all logical and sensible. Well, you have brought us a feast, and we are free to hunt again. We'll just keep on eating and drinking for your good and love. Right, Border? No. <laughs> he, he couldn't be happier. You have made an important ally today. The revolution cannot hope to succeed without fighters such as Sabine and his people on your side. You have the beginnings of an army now. Thanks. First things first. Our late upgrades.
any of those things on the case no Ooh, sure I don't need any of those to make enough money, I hope. That joker. Mm. Right back. In professions. I'm royalty, I don't work. Might work. Older? Why am I supposed to meet you at mid Miss Peak? And I know just where to find our next allies. I'll meet you at the station in Miss Peak when you're ready. The revolution is just getting started. Okay, see ya, I guess. Funny stuff that. Hmm. You have amazing hair, if you don't mind me saying. Okay, I guess. Wish I was a landlord. Looking for something special? Or this this might be kind of enough. All right, enough for today. What could I do for you? Business with you? Yeah. Oh, we don't have enough. Okay, so I will stop the stream now. I will try to install the game on the other computer, and because I really don't want to meddle with this version that works, but only offline, and and then maybe we can play together, Lara Pro. Do you say? The doggy. Wait, what? Uh, it, that wasn't here before. We've been here. There's a book. Is it that we can read or? It is just. Oh. Oh. Just but fair was a lover of the arts. He commissioned elaborate spectacles at his palace, often with himself as the main performer. He particularly enjoyed shadow puppetry. When not on stage, Cedric introduced several harsh and unorthodox legal reforms. During his reign, over 70 members of the aristocracy were executed. Three for treason, one for conspiracy and 68 for misidentifying the animal or thing he was depicting. We don't have enough to buy in. So. Yeah. What? No. Of course. Man, we've been here before. And you. And I think you, yes, you were trained already. What the heck? Oh, no, I think it would be 105. If. Well, if more. God damn it! Give me the house. No, don't move in. We don't have enough to repair it, so leave it. We will leave it as it is. Oh. Okay. I placed the contract representing your promise to Sabine on the wall. Why would you do that? I'm not gonna keep my promises anyway. You have a new type of gauntlet available. Alright, we have new spell. 
You already have one up there? Oh. Right. Yeah. It okay, so burping is an evil expression. That's all I need to know. A busy afternoon. Yeah, I think that will be if you want to inflict for today. greatest possible damage in melee combat, you want a hammer. The bigger, the better. I don't I love hammers. Believe me, Jasper, I love hammers. I just overuse them so much that I decided to go with sword and pistol. Okay? Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna end this uh, for today. And any other business to attend to? Next time I think I will be online. Uh, on Friday, 7 Central European time, 7 a.m. So, if you're interested, see you on Friday. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!